it sure is. Always yeah. watch that. It's mind mind boggling. All right, now to good health. Dermatologists have dubbed today Melanoma Monday, an effort to raise awareness about the most deadly form of skin cancer. But for the first time in decades, there is progress to report in the fight against this killer. When I went this week, they didn't find any cancer at all. So. Jimmy Carter is but the I most famous news. patient to benefit from a new class of drugs, but medications like Keytruda are giving hope to many others battling melanoma. These immunotherapies, these therapies that increase the immune system's uh, strength, if you will, they basically unblind the immune system and they go after the tumor anywhere the tumor may be. Dr. Brian Gassman says while new drugs have helped extend survival for some, better biopsy techniques and improved surgical accuracy have helped too. Melanoma is most treatable when it's found early before it spreads to other parts of the body. Be on the lookout for moles that are asymmetrical or that have irregular borders instead of smooth edges. Being more than one color is also a red flag, and so is a diameter bigger than the size of a pencil eraser. Finally, look for any moles that are evolving or changing. To reduce your risk of skin cancer, protect your skin from the sun even when you aren't heading to the pool. Let's say you work in, a, in an office or a storefront. You're near a window. You're driving a lot. You're near a window. You're outside, but you're covered up. The problem is your clothes don't have UV protection. Those are times where you may be letting yourself get a risk and you could prevent that. And research finds women are nine times more likely than men to spot melanoma on another person's skin. Experts are urging women to keep a close eye on their own skin and their partner's skin to help detect any problems early on. Interesting. 